hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you for being here today's tutorial is going to be the making of this beautiful sleeve you see on the screen it is a high low ruffle sleeves and it's easy to make and it's beginners friendly if this is your first time of visiting this channel you are welcome please consider subscribing to my channel like share my videos and also leave comments down the comment section so if this is what you like to learn please stay tuned to the end of the video so to start with i have my basic sleeve here if you want to know how to cut this basic sleeve i have the tutorial a detailed tutorial on my channel either you go and watch it first before coming to watch this tutorial or you watch the tutorial after you go and watch it so i cut two pieces together i'm using the same for the lining you can choose to cut only one sleeve without lining it see if you line inside the inside will show the same fabric so let's get started so i cut out 15 inches for the sleeves and half inch for the joining allowance so you can use any fabric for this tutorial the next thing to do is to create the high-low effect and to do that you take your tape and then at the top of the sleeve you come down by five inches you can come down by six inches depending on how you want this center part to be so i'll be coming down by five inches so this is the good side of the sleeve and then this is the wrong side of the sleeve but i'm working on the good side for the purpose of this tutorial so to get that high low effect you mark from the top of the sleeve down you mark five inches and then you come down to the hem of the sleeve then on this side you take one inch in that's for the sewing allowance before i continue i'm cutting both the sleeve and the lining together so these are the two pieces so the next thing to do is to take your curve ruler and you are going to create a curve line from this 5 inches down to the 1 inch on the hemline. So you are going to place your curve ruler like this. You can use your free hand if you don't have any French curve. So what I'm going to do now is to cut it out. So this is it, after opening it, this is how it looks. So what I'm going to do now is to measure all around this place. So after measuring, I got 27 and a half to 28. So let me approximately it to 28. So this 28 inches, you are going to times the ruffle this is where we are going to fix the ruffles so you are going to times the ruffles by two or by two and a half so what i'm going to do next is to remove one sleeve down one for the lining and then one for the main sleeve so i'll pack it aside and work on the ruffles so i made it 28 times two and a half so this is it I want four inches for the ruffles, so I cut it four and a half. When open, it's nine inches. When unfold, it's four and a half inches because I'm cutting it on fold because I don't want the wrong side to be showing. I'm going to open it like this. So the good side facing the good side and the wrong side are open. So guys, I've pinned it down. I'll be taking it to my machine and sew. So after sewing the ruffle band, the next thing to do is to take my two sleeves, the main sleeve and the lining, and fold it in half, and sew the side with one inch that I left for the sewing allowance. I'll sew half a one inch from here all the way to the hemline. And I'll do the same to the lining also then i will iron and come back 
and show you the next thing to do. So I'm done joining the sleeves. This is the men's sleeve, and then this is the lining for the sleeve. Let me put it this way. This is how I look. You see, this is where the ruffles is going to be. So in all, I need about 19 inches for the sleeves. The main sleeve measures 15 inches and then the ruffles length is 4 inches. So making 19 inches. So it's going to make the sleeve longer. If you want it longer than this, you can cut it up to even 20 inches. But because I want the ruffles to be 4 inches, Plus 15 inches is going to be 19 inches, it's okay. So these are the ruffles. I joined it and I went ahead and run a garter stitch because I use pipe thread. I don't know if you can see it well. So I, I made two lines of garter stitch so that it will be easy to draw, not to cut along the way. So the next thing to do is to gather the ruffles you can even decide to pleat it or you cut it in a spiral form you know like a circle and then you attach it but in this case i was not having enough fabric so i decided to make it straight so i'll gather the ruffles you see you hold the two legs of the thread together and then you start drawing it I start gathering it so I gather all then I'll come and show you how to attach it to the sleeve so I'm done gathering the ruffles so the next thing to do is to attach it to the sleeve I'll attach it to this opening part and the whole opening part is 28 inches so you make sure that you draw your gathers up to the 28 inches and then after I will turn it with the second sleeve, which is the lining, but I cut the same fabric for it. So let me pin it down. Make sure that you spread the gathers evenly all around the ruffles. So guys, this is how you look. So these rough edges, I'm going to conceal it with the lining. So I'll take it to my machine, sew it, then I will attach it with the lining. So I will start from the hem line and then go all around with the lining like so. You put it like we are wearing it for the sleeve. I'm going to cross this rough edge all the continue all around the hem line. Then I'll come and show you the next thing to do. So after joining the ruffles, this is how I look, and then turning it inside with the lining. You see, it looks very neat. The next thing to do is to pin the two sleeves together, main sleeve and the lining together, like so. Make sure that the side seams align together like this, and also the top part where I notch to also align together. So I've pinned the upper side of the sleeve. So this is the ample of the sleeve. So I'm going to stitch it on top together and then come and show you the finishing look. So I finished attaching the sleeves together. Look the inside, how neat the inside is. So guys, I high low ruffle sleeve is ready. Looking beautiful, isn't it? Elegant. Wow, so nice and so neat. So let me put it in my hand before putting it on the mannequin for you guys to see how it look. This is how our high low ruffle sleeves look like, very beautiful. If you like, you can even make the ruffles longer than this. You can make it longer than this if you have enough fabric. So this is how it look, very beautiful. You see the side view. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe, like, Share my videos and also leave comments down the comment section below. So thank you for watching. Till then, bye.